Hello everyone. Welcome back to the 10 weeks Python. Now we are in the chapter 3 and we are going to see the defining and calling of functions. So in Python, the functions are the block of codes which get executed when we call the function. So what does it mean that first we have to define the function and then we have to perform our operations uh, and write our codes inside that function with proper identification and then we have to call our function and then our function will get executed so we'll see how to do that so for defining a function or creating a function we have to first define the functions using the def keyword so this def keyword is very important until i will not use this def keyword our function will not be created so first we'll write the def keyword then followed by the function name so our function name is greet and then followed by the parenthesis and then a colon and when you press enter and suppose we want to print that good morning now here you can see a four spaces before print so what are these four spaces these four spaces are the identification and these identifications telling here that that this print function is inside this greet function so if we'll not give this spaces and we'll write just like this it means that it is a global print function it is not inside the greet so it will be uh, wrong so for writing inside the function we have to give, follow a proper identification okay now we want to uh, we'll execute our code and we'll see that our code has been executed and it is right also but uh, nothing is printed means the output is none so for printing inside means for using or accessing this print uh, function we have to call our uh, call our main function that is greet so for calling the greet function we have to just simply write the name of the function followed by the parenthesis and then when we'll call it you will see good morning has been printed so when we'll define a function and for performing or executing that functions we have to call that function in this way okay now we'll create a function for adding two numbers and taking input of the two numbers so we are creating a function name add and then we'll take we'll create one variable num1 inside it will we are going to take the input of the number and the input of the number will be in float so we are using the float function and then we are prompting to the user that enter the first number then we are going to copy paste the first one and then we are going to change num2 and here instead of first we are going to write second then we are going to create a result variable and inside the results variable we are going to add the num1 and num2 and then using the print function we'll call our uh, means we'll print our results so we'll use f string here then we'll write that addition of addition of num1 and num2 is is the result okay and here we have to change our function name from greet to add because our function name has been changed to add so we have to call here add now when we'll execute the code you will see here it is asking for enter the first number now we'll give the first number 34.56 then we'll give our second number that is 20.45 and when we'll press enter you will see that addition of 34.56 and 20.45 is 55.011000 and so our it means that our function is getting executed so in this way we can uh, create our own function user defined functions and we can give or perform our uh, or write our codes inside the function and then for calling that function 
or performing the quotes inside a uh, present inside our function we have to just simply call our function and then it will be get executed so thanks for watching the video